He's ready for his close up. Hello, welcome to the kitchen. I'm really excited today because I've got a special guest, Katie Pick. Hello, this is not the best intro to any video you've ever seen. We've got a glamorous assistant, God, haven't we? I mean, and he's got a matching wearing jumper. dog. I kind of lied to you because I said we're going to do gingerbread, but in actual fact, it's more of a kind of a brown sugar spice biscuit, but it's Ooh. going to have the same effect. It's really nice, it's a bit different. With some gingerbread, I don't know about Lovely. you, but it's kind of like long winded, you know, we have to do the wet dough and like leave it chilling for yeah. two hours. You've done that bit boring, so we've got a kind of like quicker version, but it's still really nice and Christmassy. <gasps> and I think you need these, watch. Oh! You do, don't you? Oh, I don't know where that came from. Have you made sugar cookies before? Don't I've you? genuinely made your sugar cookies before. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Did they work? <laughs> they did, they really did. Room temperature butter. Lovely. Got 400 grams. Straight in. Light muscovado sugar instead of a um, normal golden custard, so it'll give it more of that fudgy, kind of darker flavour. Beautiful. I'm gonna mix that just till it's kind of like combined. Not like a sponge where you do it till it's pale and creamy, because the biscuits will spread, so we're just gonna mix. So, only just mixed. Mm -hmm. And then we just need to add two eggs. So do you mind cracking those eggs in there for me, Katie, if that's all right? Oh, it's my moment, yeah, I'm excited. Oh, Christmas jumper Do up. I go cocky and go one-handed? Oh, go on, I, I can't do that, so I'd like to see. I mean, Always ruin it. Oh, look at that. I mean, I completely smushed the yolk, <laughs> but that's okay, because it's gonna get whipped up as anyway. As long as I don't get any shellage. Any shellage in there? No. <laughs> so just give it another, another go on slow. <laughs> see, that'll this do. This is the sort of mixture that I'm gonna wanna eat raw. Do you? Yeah. Not for me. Not Sometimes for me. I will literally take cake batter, put it in a cupcake. You don't. And don't cook it, just eat it with a spoon. Oh. In here we've got plain flour, we've got some ginger, we've got some cinnamon and a bit of mixed spice. The spices of Christmas. Yeah, it's wonderful. <sighs> Smell it. So that literally just gets dumped into the mixer all in one go. Literally all of it? Just all of it, yeah. Just dump it all in. Oh, it was going so well. I thought, I haven't spilled anything. But behind this side, there uh, might be. Hey. Oh. Yeah, they're all right. <laughs> and then it will. Christmas oh, I've got a question for you. Yeah. How did you get into baking? Oh, wow. Funny question, actually. Um, by accident, completely. When George was born, I did a massive party, like a Welcome to the World party. So I had about 150 people around for the party and did all the food and stuff. I thought, I'd better do him a cake. And I did him a cake and I just really enjoyed it and got into the kind of, I just really enjoyed the kind of crafty aspect. And because I had three kids under three, I just kind of started doing their birthday cakes. Yeah. What a lovely story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true, it's true. Oh, um, well done, yes, George, for yeah, being good born. Yeah, good old George. Oh, there we go. So let's roll this out. So first of all, I just kind of bring the dough together a little bit, because you know how you don't want to overwork it, otherwise yes. it can go a bit tough. So I bring it together first, make a bit of a sausage, then I do the dusting. Okay. So I don't sort of like get too much flour into it. Do you use these before? No, I not a clue what they are. Oh, really? Oh! Honestly thought you just got a bit of building material. I mean, someone's been genius there in making that a purchasable piece. <laughs> a little bit on the old dusting there. Do you like to turn it? I do like to turn it, do you? To make sure we don't stick. Yeah, a little bit, so I might... Oh, but I don't do that. Oh! Oh, it's ruined now. Oh, my God! <laughs> do you know what? Yeah, that's oh, interesting. You're a, you're yeah, a turner, yeah. not turner, a turner. Not, yeah, so, yeah, a lot of people do that with sugar paste as well. Yeah. And then it just dries out too much. That's fine. That's fine. I think we saved it. What we're we going to make today... It's um, like a gingerbread, obviously, Christmas spice wreath, because I'm quite into my wreaths. They're really nice just to have by themselves, or what I like to do with them is decorate cakes with them. Oh, it looks really nice. How big is your cutter collection? Oh my goodness, I've got a whole shed, shed full. Well, you do lots of baking. What? So I baking is kind of my relaxation cooking. So I'll bake at the weekend. Most of my videos are savoury, yeah. but uh, yeah, baking is what I... What's he doing? <laughs> uh, baking is like my relaxation. Oh, really? So, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, coming here is like Aladdin's oh, really? cake. Just cut them out, and then they really—they don't spread too much. They're oh, kind of, already snapped a flimmin. Yeah, that cutter is a bit sort of like it's one of those ones that's got the small bits, which is annoying. That's a lie. <laughs> take it. That's really kind. Oh, I went cocky and I got too close to the edge. It's just. Oh, I've done it again. That one's for Dougie. <laughs> Let me, I bet it happens to me. No, it won't. And then just... Oh, I did it as well! <laughs> There's a dodgy bit. There's yeah, a dodgy bit yeah. To... They'll last for like a good 10 weeks if you wrap them up well. Oh, so you can really like get all your Christmas baking done in advance. 
Could mm. you cut a little hole in the top and create a, t a tree decoration? You can, and do you know what? I've got a really special trick for that, haven't I? Halfway through the baking time, take them out and use a plastic straw and just put the straw in and every so often just trim the blockage off okay. and it just stays up in the straw and then you put them back in the oven and bake them off. Why halfway through? Um, otherwise they kind of get a bit too firm to sort of stab through and they can crack. We're going to carry on doing these now and then we'll come back when they're all baked. Yeah, great. Yeah. Pop them in. Pan. Yeah, I need to have a... Sort of <laughs> Our Christmas spice cookies are baked. They look beautiful. They look lovely already, don't they? Yeah. The cute little shapes. I like going over the top and doing really amazing coloured things, but for these, I quite like pure like white on the kind of cookie, so it looks really kind of traditional. So I've got some royal icing. You're quite good at piping, aren't you? Uh, not in your level, no, but for, a, for an amateur. Yeah. Oh, oh, fun with it. What does the snowflake look like? I don't know the snowflake. Is it? I'm worried I'm going to turn it into a spider do web. Do you want me to show you one? Yeah, inspire yeah, let me. Let me inspire you. So I'll start at one end, yep. and then lift up, cool. and then touch in, and then I kind of do the little clonk at the end. And then I go, so I kind of just go round, drop, stop squeezing, then like that. Oh, that's And so then pretty. these I go squeeze, and then like drag. Oh, that's beautiful. The oh, you're a middle squeezer. Yeah, are you not? I'm a, I'm a squeeze to the end and wrap round. Oh, do you? Yeah. No, no, I have to have a small amount. That's the thing, isn't it, with um, anything like baking, sugar craft, anything like that. You've got to find your own way. Jelly, jelly. I mean, this is just the loveliest, like, weekend activity. Does everyone in your family get baked goods for Christmas? I do bake all the time, so I think everyone in my family gets baked goods all round. But I do try and make a special effort at Christmas. I will do some gingerbread, I'll do some tree decorations. Never used to like Christmas cake. When I first started doing cakes, hated it. But I now do one every year, and I do it in a big, long bar, because my Christmas cake recipe is very, um, like, a chutney kind of quality. Just, I do little kind of, like, cross-stitch samplers where I put our pictures on, and then we slice it with cheese. We do that every year, it's tradition. Is that on your channel? No! <laughs> uh, just to say, I don't want to show off anything, but I'm really happy with that. Let's have a look. Oh, that looks perfect. That. What's on your Christmas list this year? Oh my god, do you know what? Sorry, it's like baking with Parkinson, I quite it? like it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! I haven't even really thought about it. Have you, have you, have you got a Christmas list? No. Aww. I was I wasn't expecting you to fire the question back. <laughs> Picture frames. Oh, because I've got loads of walls yeah. <laughs> with nothing on. You can and make some gingerbread say... Christmas frames. Stop it. Oh, I've done that before many a time. And you did a real life chocolate. gingerbread house? Um, I have done a real life gingerbread house. I had my lunch in before. But, but what's the most difficult job you've ever done in, in food? I'm just a cook who essentially I cook to eat. I just love food. I remember going and meeting a team who were like, do you know what, just to get a feel of you, do you want to cook us dinner? And there were 10 people. Scary. And cooking din dinner for ten people who you don't know who have a real expectation oh, of you. Oh yeah, that sounds like being a master chef or oh, something. It's, it's horrendous. <laughs> Currently, I've iced two. Can we do this where we go like this and go to the next bit where we do the the cake decorating? <laughs> Here we are, back in the room. Back in the room. We've got our cakes. We've got our bi our biscuits. So we're going to decorate them now. Can we just say most perfectly iced cake? No one's going to want to eat it because they just keep stroking, <laughs> stroking it. Do you straight. have somewhere that we can learn how to ice a cake properly? Well, it's very interesting you asked me that. Thank you very much. Yes, I do. I've got a little video tutorial on how to ice the cake perfectly. We'll and it's just a few top tips you need, and it's not difficult. I'm excited to see that because oh, yes. my icing cake icing experience has not gone. <laughs> Smoothly. <laughs> Pun. Brilliant. Great. Do you mind if I just no, do mind, please. Do you mind if I handle your biscuits? Hand, handle away. So I like to kind of maybe put, pick three larger ones and then sort of start to build up different sizes and just kind of build up the reed so you've got a sort of like centre. I like to position them first before yes. I commit to my sticking because then you can kind of arrange them and then and then stick them on. If you make a bit of a mistake, we're only doing it with white icing, so you're probably gonna cover it up anyway. But I kind of just sort of position it a bit. Okay, you know, and then I just sort of, you know, plan out. But yeah, am I, am I, have I gone too much No, already? do it how, this is the thing, you've got to be creative and do your That's own awesome. style. Three layers too much? Start building, getting two first, and then maybe add three here and there. I've gone quite heavy. Oh, that's nice. You're supposed to use this many. <laughs> I would say start with maybe three large three ones. Three large, three large. I'm going to use this as the Christmas cake on Christmas Day. Are you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. And but I'm you can take full credit. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you get your aesthetic knowledge from? Like, you it know, just come, it comes to me in, dr in dream state. <laughs> just made some little green holly and berry icing. So we're going to have that at the top of our wreath just to oh, finish that's off. Cute. Yeah. You. <sighs> If only you could see Dougie right now. He looks like a doorstop. He's so funny, isn't he? He's just gorgeous. 
And back to your thing about keeping it for Christmas, definitely you can keep it for Christmas. You put it into a cake box, yeah. wrap the cake box with cling film. Oh, okay. So don't have it kind of like touching onto the cake so that it will kind of like, so it doesn't sort of sweat, but it'll just kind of keep the biscuits a bit fresher. And then Great. a couple of days before you want to eat it, you can just open it up and then have it out. You have done some crazy bakes though, haven't you? World's first edible Christmas jumper. You see, I you see, saw yeah. that. And I was like, oh my God, is it going to work? But yeah, that was That was learned. amazing. Do you need another small one? Yeah, have you got have you one? I've got another small one, yes. I'm not happy with the icing on this one. So. Hang on, let me see what I can find. They're really tasty. <laughs> Didn't hit the ground. <laughs> this is when I think I would be rubbish on Bake Off. So I've made these a couple of days ago, so they've kind of set. I get a little bit of icing on the back. It's become one of my favourite cakes to make. It's beautiful. Oh. oh! Like, come on! Brilliant! Did you enjoy doing that? I loved it! <laughs> I always love baking with you, though, oh, genuinely. Oh, thank you. That was really fun. Oh, it's so lovely. So it goes without saying that everything for people to recreate our gingerbread wreaths is down there. So if you like what you see, please subscribe and be back for more videos soon. Bye! Bye! Oh, honestly, <laughs> seriously. Beautiful. Oh, thank you.